Hi, my name's Becky Platt. I'm one of the Don't Forget the Bubbles Exec team and an advanced clinical practitioner in paediatric A&E. Today, I'm going to be talking about heel prick blood testing for capillary blood gas sampling in babies. This is a really common procedure in paediatrics and it's easy to do when you know how, but it can be a bit tricky at first. In this video, I'm going to focus on the practical aspects I'm not going to spend time discussing indications and contraindications. I want you to really have a good idea of the how-to so that after watching this, you can safely go away and have a go. In a few moments, I'm going to show you the procedure and talk through it. And then afterwards, I'm going to give you my top tips. As with anything we do at work, preparation is key, and this is no exception. The first thing to remember is to prepare the parents you're going to be doing a painful procedure on their newborn baby and it's absolutely vital that they know what to expect. Secondly, make sure you've got your equipment ready. The equipment here is minimal. Really, you just need the heel pricking device and a couple of capillary gas tubes. I like to take a spare one with me um, and ideally fill it if the blood's flowing well because it's so often the case that the blood gas machine just eats one when you get there. Make sure the baby is adequately prepared. They can usually stay in mum's arms. They can feed during the procedure and that usually helps to reduce distress. You can also offer non-nutritive sucking, ideally with some sucrose. Um, and again, this helps pain relief and minimise distress. If you're going to use sucrose, remember to give it two minutes before the procedure as well as during. The use of petroleum jelly or similar is controversial, but I personally like it. I feel that it makes the drops form a bit more easily on the foot uh, and it stops it smearing all over the place. If you are going to use it, use it sparingly. If you get a glob of uh, Vaseline or similar in the gas tube, it ruins the gas machine. Warming the foot's not usually necessary. But if the foot feels cool to the touch, then I usually get the parents to provide some skin to skin for a few minutes, or I fill a glove with some warmed water and just carefully wrap it around the baby's foot to warm it up before I start. The safe sites for heel prick are on the sides of the heel, not the very pole, because that's where the calcaneus is at its most superficial. And so that's where you're more likely to introduce infection and also pain. So use the sides and avoid the actual pole of the heel. When you start the procedure, hold the baby's calf and foot firmly in your non-dominant hand. If you're going to use white soft paraffin, now's the time and remember to use it sparingly. Prick the side of the heel and then get your capillary tube ready while you wait for the first drop of blood to fall. Touch the capillary tube to the drop of blood, not to the foot itself and allow the capillary action to suck it up into the tube. Use your thumb to dorsiflex the foot and then allow it to relax. Each time you dorsiflex, you'll see the new drop of blood forms and you can just collect it in the tube. Make sure you keep the capillary tube pretty much horizontal because you don't want any air bubbles in that tube or the sample won't run. You can just gently rock the tube backwards and forwards to make sure the blood you've already collected is at the end of the tube before you pick up the next drop. At the end of the procedure, just press some gauze to the baby's foot and make sure they have time for a nice cuddle. So we've had a look at the procedure. I'm going to give you my top tips now. The first one is absolutely don't squeeze the foot. Just dorsiflex and relax it. We want the foot to be pink, not white. Squeezing is not only likely to make the blood flow more slowly, but it's actually more likely to cause hemolysis as well. Tip two, avoid air bubbles by keeping the capillary tube pretty much horizontal. You can just rock it backwards and forwards to make sure that the blood is at the end of the tube before you collect the next drop. Tip three, be patient. This is a slow, precise procedure. Just chat to the parents as you do it and let it happen in its own good time. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this was useful. Goodbye for now.